Welcome to this tutorial about the UM30-2 distance sensor from Zek. In this tutorial series, we will show you how to work with the ultrasonic sensor UM30-2 without a PC. The human ear can typically perceive sound waves in a frequency range from 16 Hz to about 20 kHz. Sound waves above the audible frequency range are called ultrasonic. These are the frequencies we are working with on this sensor. The ultrasonic transducer emits a sound pulse. This sound pulse is reflected by an object. The time from sending to receiving the signal is measured, evaluated, and the distance is calculated based on this time and the speed of sound. The measurement with ultrasonic has some advantages compared to other measurement methods. If you're interested in which benefits ultrasonic have, please watch the linked video. The display of the UM30-2 shows you the currently active scaling at the top of the display with an indication point. The current measurement value is always shown on the display, except if no measurement is possible. In this case, the display shows three lines instead. The two multicolored LEDs indicate the status of the outputs, D1 for the analog and D2 for the switching output. Depending on object positioning, you will see the following behavior of LED D1 and LED D2, which indicate the output status. Objects within the blind zone of the sensor and objects outside of the sensing range of the sensor shows red for D1 and orange for D2. Objects within the taught-in analog scaling and below the limit switching distance show green for D1 and orange for D2. Objects within the taught-in analog scaling and outside the limit switching distance shows green for D1 and green for D2. Objects outside the taught-in analog scaling and outside the limit switching distance show red for D1 and green for D2. In addition to the LEDs, the buttons T1 and T2 help to configure different application settings. This is discussed more detailed in the following videos. Thank you for watching. In the following episodes, we show you how to reset the UM30-2 as well as application examples.